Welcome to the Purdue Boilermakers on Sports Report Radio on the phone. Sasha Stefanovic, welcome to Sports Report Radio, Purdue Boilermakers show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Hey, let's just jump right into this. I've been to many Purdue games. What's it like to get that ball in your hands and fire up a three and just know the other team is just fearing that you're going to shoot that three and make that three, which you normally do? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a cool feeling. Um, you know, when you have 14,000 people raising their hands, you know, kind of expecting you to make it, um, it's, it's a really cool feeling. And, um, you know, playing in that gym, it's kind of, it's been, uh, it's been good to me these first two years that I've been, I've been at Purdue and, um, you know, hopefully I make a lot more there. Sasha, you're from Crown Point. You're, you're close to Purdue. What's it like for you to be close to Purdue, to have friends and family come watch you play? Oh, it makes a huge deal. I think, um, you know, I know a lot of people that go to school there, a lot of people that come to the games, um, you know, each time that we play at Mackey and, um, you know, even just playing in the Big Ten, I think, you know, a lot of the games are accessible for, you know, my hometown. And, you know, I see a lot of people, uh, you know, make it to a lot of, you know, away games that are pretty close, you know, up at Northwestern, Illinois and Indiana, obviously. So, um, yeah, it's really cool to, to be, you know, in, the, in you know, in your home state and playing for um, – school you always dreamed of playing so it's uh it's kind of a dream come true hey let's just jump into that too always said so you always wanted to go to purdue is that kind of your dream school from a kid that you were going to be a purdue guy is that what you kind of dreamed for yeah i think um you know i think definitely you know growing up seeing a lot of guys from the region and um you know guys that still play in high school uh end up playing at purdue and having tremendous careers like you know rob homo etuan um, you know, and even Spike Albrecht and down there for his uh, for his graduate year. Um, you know, just seeing guys like that, and you know, growing up watching Purdue and playing at such a high level, and um, you know, it's something that you know I wanted to always be a part of. And uh, you know, luckily I, I was able to get that chance, and you know, I I uh, took the opportunity. Hey Sasha, let's talk about the Big Ten. Talk about playing at a high level. What's it like to put on that Purdue jersey and know you're playing against the best? of the best because the Big Ten basketball is strong. Everybody respects Big Ten basketball. And and my guess was was there's going to be 10 schools this year in the NCAA, maybe even 11. But what's it like to play Mm -hmm. at that high level every single game? Yeah, it's tremendous. You know, uh, you know, every single night um, that you play against somebody, you know, it's going to be a battle. I think uh, no game is obviously easy. Um, You know, every away venue is, you know, is a tough place to play. So, um, you know, it's 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 really good for you. I mean, the competition is always, uh, you know, the best in in the, you know, in the country. And um, you know, it's a it's a privilege to be able to play in this conference. And um, you know, I, I'll never take that for granted because this is where I've ultimately wanted to be since day one. I, I made a goal as a freshman in high school to be a Big Ten player, and um, you know, that that was kind of what I wanted to get to. And you know, I'm, now I'm here and playing against the best of the best. Hey, Sasha, let's talk about Coach Painter. He played in the Big Ten, so he kind of knows he's an Indiana guy. He knows what you're going through playing at the high level in the Big Ten. What's it like playing for Coach Painter and knowing what he knows and kind of was in your shoes one day when he was at Purdue? Yeah, he's, um, you know, he's such a, uh, a smart uh, coach. And, you know, the the stories that he's, he's able to tell us and, you know, back in his playing days and, you know, the amount of knowledge that he has just on past players and, past games and um you just know like you know he's been through it so you kind of understand what uh you know the challenges and everything uh, that he's been through because you're doing the same thing so I think he's very relatable in that sense and um that he's been through it and you know kind of been through the gauntlet of our league and uh now as a coach you see how successful he is and how relatable he is to us players and uh you know he just gets the best out of us every single night so um you know, there's not too many coaches in the country that are better than him. Let's talk about another Purdue coach, living legend, Coach Katie. How special is that to play right there and see Coach Katie? You know, has seen everything. And I mean, sometimes sitting in the stands following you guys, what, what's it like to see Coach Katie there? I mean, I, I, I see Mackey just go crazy when he flashed to him, but what's that like for you to be a basketball player on, on his court, essentially? Oh, it's, it's, it's awesome. I think, um, you know, Coach Katie – comes to a bunch of our practices i mean he was there almost you know all the time at the end of the year this past year so 
um, came to a lot of our postseason games last year and every or the year before. So, um, you know, just seeing a you know uh, a guy with that much of you know success and everything, and kind of just you know him bouncing ideas off of you or you know critiquing your game and trying to help you get better when, whenever he sees, and just kind of you know talking to him and um, you know just trying to soak up as much knowledge as you can from a great coach like that is is uh, something, like I said, I, I won't take for granted. I, he's one of the great basketball minds, and it's really uh, it's a really cool thing to have him still around the program. Hey, Sasha, I know you've got a few more years at Purdue, but do you maybe look to the future? You see Dakota doing well, shooting the threes. A three-pointer, a three-point shot is something that translates everywhere, whether it's the NBA overseas. I mean, what, what's kind of your future? Do you think maybe a future of that after you finish up at Purdue? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's the ultimate goal for every, you know, high major player. I think you want to, you know, try to get to that next level. I think, uh, I mean, that was something that Coach Painter kind of sold me on, you know, as as he's recruiting. I think, yeah, you know, he said, you know, if, if your goal isn't to get to the next level after college, then, you know, this isn't the right place for you. I think, um, you know, you just try to get better every single day and kind of work on the other aspects of your game that, doesn't make me just a shooter but uh obviously that's something that you know i continuously can uh keep working on and get better at and um yeah hopefully that takes me you know to a professional level one day sasha thanks so much man i appreciate you taking a little bit of time to talk to us here on sports report radio you've been a great interview produce such a great place and i know you're proud to be there but they're proud to have you there too but we're proud to have you on the radio thank you sasha so much i appreciate it yeah absolutely thank you